And uh, we're here at the Inferno 2010, and we're here with Michael from the SoCal town. Michael from Cisna Mist. How are you? Oh, doing okay. Chilling, hanging out, cool. Great. Uh, this year's Inferno, there are um, some uh, various kind of bands. It's not only black metal bands. What do you think about the Inferno Festival and the diversity it, it has? Well, personally, I'm up for it because three days of straight metal in your face is a bit much. So I'm glad there's bands like Jarbo, for example, that lies on the industrial side, or of a Doom stuff, or like different stuff that calms you down, but gives you a larger panel because three days of metal, it's becoming, after a while, it's just noise. Yeah, I think it's good because at the same time, you make uh, the audience to widen a bit, uh, you know, their musical preferences. I mean, it's. Well, we, we live, and Michael knows because he's running a record label. We, we live in a, a period that, uh, in an era that uh, bands should experiment, and uh, at the same time, the listeners should get a wider variety of uh, musical preferences. So I think the festival is doing a good job when it comes to that. <laughs> today and uh, Mister was actually quite good. I don't know if you saw them. Which one? Mister. No, I missed them. I missed them. To me so far the highlights were well I liked the Marduk show yesterday. Uh, I ate gods and about Jarbo because it was so different. <laughs> And uh, we know that Mayhem has signed you one of these guys. Any expectations for uh, the gig tonight? Yeah, well, the plan is, well, it's not public yet, but people will notice that we'll play the whole Demi series on Tatana's album from the beginning to the end. So I'm really looking forward to that. But they will play more songs than just that. They play for one and a half hour. So yeah, Demi on Tatana's is like, what, 40 minutes? So you can expect to hear all the classics, but the full main album for Mayhem will be played tonight. So, uh, is that something you look forward to, Michael? Uh, definitely. Uh, it's been a big. Uh, uh, that album has been a big influence, and uh, you know we're like a family here. So we have common friends, and I've been talking also. I talked with Jorn this morning, uh, Necro Butcher, and he told me that uh, for today's show there are like 21 people working for the production of the show. So I think it's going to be really cool. Will, will it uh, be recorded for a DVD, perhaps, then? Well, with Mayhem, they tend to record a lot of things, but not to release any. They will, they're perfectionists, so they will only release it if they're happy with the results, which is far from granted. But a lot of you, I think, probably expected to hear some old stuff, so... Just for the guy down here at the front. <laughs> From Transcend the Rubicon.
great festival. It's becoming more diverse every year. I definitely recommend it. I wish war Norway was warmer, but that's a different story. <laughs> Michael. Um, just people to have a good time and continue drinking and enjoying the bands. And for Inferno, I just wish to continue uh, being successful because, at least from my point of view, I don't like big festivals. I get stressed with so many people. So having a small festival that... Uh, you feel comfortable. It's a really important thing. Thank you very much, Michael and Michael. and we're here with Farouk and you're coming from Washington DC US so you took the trip all over for just for the Inferno festival yes I did I've never been to uh, Scandinavia so I figured uh, why not I heard a lot of good stuff about Inferno so what do you think so far it's fucking rock and roll man rock star it's awesome I love it Any bands in particular that uh, that made you make the trip? Uh, definitely the reunion of uh, Covenant Reunion and uh, Isan. Plus, I I really wanted to come and see you, man. <laughs> yeah, this guy's a good. I like For the guy. record, yeah, that's actually true. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, what's made the biggest impression on you so far, apart from me? Uh, Shining, Shining was really fucking awesome. Uh, Shining was great. Uh, that's one band that really stuck out. And Saturday Destroyer 666, of course. Of course, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Very cool. Cheers. Good. All right.